Okay, take a look at the third thing we do that breaks up a family or business. We assume that others will, should, and must change, but not me. So, <laughs> I, I'm with the family, and, and you know, Dad owns a lot of the assets, but boy, he's quiet. And I thought, I, mean, I got to know what he's thinking. We're, we're thinking about bringing their daughter into the business. She's exactly what they need, but Dad was not Tell me what's on his mind. And I finally thought, maybe if I get him outside to look at the bulls, he'll tell me what he's thinking. So I got him outside by the corral, and he hooked his old cowboy boots on the railing of the fence, and he said to me, you know, Jolene, about my girl, as long as she doesn't change anything, I'm flexible. <laughs> <laughs> Please say out loud the word 10. Spell the word 10. T-E-N, let's say the word 10, 10 times. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. What are aluminum cans made of? What are aluminum cans made of? We got some tinny aluminum out here, don't we? What I know is if you said, yes, you want this business to continue, I'm going to hold your feet to the fire. Because you said that, not me. You chose that, not me. And that mere statement says you are no longer independent. You are interdependent. Now, this is where I have to hold up the mirror. And I have to do this about every family I talk with. I want you to read out loud what this says on the screen. Just read it to yourself, please. Do you get it? I mean, do, do you really get that? If the achievement of your goal depends upon the assets or power that someone else has, and they don't have your same goal, they don't have a problem. Who's got the problem? You've got the problem. If this is your philosophy, my way or no way, please be a sole proprietor. Do not form partnerships, LLCs, FLPs, S-Corps, C-Corps. Be a sole proprietor. Let everybody know that you are going to be the king or queen on the throne, and they're going to work for you. Let everybody know that you are the puppeteer, and they are the puppets. And as long as they dance to the strings that you pull, this is okay. You can work together. If this is your philosophy, pay your puppets well, because that's how you keep them working for you. But if you said, yes, you want this to be a legacy business, it cannot just be your way. It is a negotiated way. 